Hey ya, it's Whimsy and we're back today with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I think today we are going to do the Hogsmeade exclusive quest. And if we have time for something else, then we can maybe do a main uh, main quest. The Headmistress Speaks, I think, is the name. So yeah, that's the plan for today. So let's jump into it. All right, let's go. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's this quest. We need to speak to Cassandra Mason. Let's see where she's at. Is it in Hogsmeade? Yes, it is. Let's go. Oh, do I need to sell things? I think I do. What are you up to now? <gasps> it's Christmas. Christmas. Christmas! Wait, I need to see Hogwarts in Christmas though. I didn't go to the... Um, the Grand Hall. I haven't been in winter, I think. I didn't think of that. Okay, uh, let me just sell to whoever. Thank you very much. There we go. Hello. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Oh, I've sold everything? Oh, she I just buys um again. Consider yourself welcome. She buys only uh beasts. I think that's why. Let me see my gear. Do I Maybe I sold everything after all. I don't remember what I did last time. Oh, I have un unidentified stuff though. Well, whatever. Okay, let's see later. We we have a lot of space. I, I thought we had less space than that, but we do, so... It's all good. We can still start this quest. Hi! <laughs> Hello, Madam Mason. I understand you have a shop to sell. Why, yes! Yes, I do! Are you interested? I am in Yes, I am. I've always wanted to own a shop. How marvelous. At 15. I think you Why will not? find my terms quite generous. But, and do please forgive me for asking. Yeah. Don't you think you might be a tad young to own a shop? <laughs> I have a knack for this sort of thing, if I do say so myself. If I can meet your terms, I hope that you'll sell to me. Well... I reckon you have the confidence needed for such a venture. And of course you'll have Penny to help you. That elf could sell tea to a troll. I assume she told you she comes with the place. She did indeed. I like you. Tell you what, I shall sell you the space for an exceedingly fair price. Do I, I have the money though? Might. Just be true I'm not sure. To make a go of it. Hmm, an exceedingly fair price for a shop and an elf. What's the catch? Ha! Huh. You are wise to be wary in business dealings. Mm -hmm. No catch, really. I simply ask that you allow me to do you the favor of buying the shop back. At a discount, of course, should your efforts fail. The last thing we need here in Hogsmeade is for one bad apple to spoil the barrel, if you get my meaning. <laughs> Your faith in me is overwhelming. <laughs> You're sorely mistaken if you think I'm going to fail. There's that confidence again. And of course, I wish you every success. Do we have a deal? What precisely do you mean, should yeah. my efforts fail? It's Honestly. weird. I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. It's weird. Ah. As you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. There's a catch. I don't the like shop it. seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. 
My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. It looks to be rather a mess. Uh, Why haven't other tenants been able to make a go of it? Uh, as you've no doubt considered, running a shop is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shot ready for business Why and did the others ensuring its success. Not have her if she comes with the place. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop. How much is it? Maybe long. I don't have the money. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. A thousand five hundred. Oh, that's fine. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. Mm -hmm. I have to say I'm impressed. There's a catch you though, it's weird. Remarkably resourceful it's just strange. Student. I don't I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money, and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, pretty sure I'm thing. getting a uh, scam. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organized, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavors. That's sassy. Can you meet you there? <laughs> sassy. I'm not sure, but let's see it. I mean. What can happen? Losing a thousand five hundred. You know. And and if y'all think, oh it's okay, you can trust the elf, like Because I've been thinking maybe she's lying or something and she's scamming me, but then the elf is being super sweet. But if she's her master of this elf, then this elf is in every right to lie as well. It's actually they're being ordered around to be like, oh, let's scam some people. You know what I mean? So you can trust any well, of them. I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one. But to I'm not sure if it. she's her master. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and Why? do some repairs. Well then, let's get to it. Penny is ready. Why though? Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time. This is the door, y'all. I'm so happy to finally Penny. go inside. Oh, Penny can already see the pretend. Nothing like a bit of hard work. <laughs> Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh, yes. She mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. Are you holding your breath again? Penny must get back to work now. Because she can't say anything. She ordered her to not say anything. No trolls. Or vampires. Revelio. This is not very nice. I want something different as a... Uh, Shop. Uh huh. Very ominous. <laughs> of 
course. Oh boy. I didn't do anything. <laughs> I did not use Revelio. Of course. Okay. I knew something was fishy. Obviously. Okay, let's go! Revelio. Wow, that effect was... It's, it's like, it's different. The effect is different, no? Isn't it? The Revelio is like super intense. Huh? I feel like it's different. I don't know if it's just me. Huh. I don't know. Weird. Okay. Am I dreaming? It is different. Everything is more, um. Lumos. Everything is more Rebellion. intense. Is it just me? Am I going crazy? I feel like all my magic has more color to it, like being more intense. I don't I don't know. Uh huh. Incendio. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? Oh, that's not very hospitable. Oh, oh goody! Someone to play with. You seem to be smart. What fun this will be! For me, at least. <laughs> what the fuck? Lumos. Okay. Revelio. That's Lumos. crazy. Revelio. Lu That's new. Onwards, I suppose. So it's like a dream. Or something. Uh, Jesus Christ. That? Who's there? Is that poltergeist? I'm just trying to go into every room. What the hell? Are they moving? Or am I going crazy? Oh, hello! Jesus Christ! That scared me. <sighs> okay, so I need to follow that? Or... Revelio Lumos Lumos Oh Oh my god Oh That's Lovely I love this. Wow, okay, this is amazing. Oh, this is so unnerving. Beautiful. The particle effect is really cool. Oh, you don't worry. Seems as if I should hang something there. Guardian 
Leviosa. These lanterns must belong somewhere. Accio! Ingarium Leviosa. How enlightening! might survive a bit longer than the other survive nothing is harming me lumos You've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been what looking for. What the fuck is this? I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. It's a poltergeist. What's the saying? Two sides to every storm. Hunting the shop. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides here are to my story. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. Okay, uh, too many ways to go. Oh, true. <laughs> I seem to adore this beautiful place. Don't you? You know, foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Uh huh. Oh my god, there's so many ways to go. Oh Jesus. I, I didn't mean. Oh, goodness. It looks like a greenhouse. Okay. Revelia. Uh, Jesus Christ. Oh, the door closed after me. Okay. Because why not? I love this. It, it reminds me a bit of... Visage, but like fun. <laughs> I didn't like Visage. Um, I didn't like the gameplay and the puzzles at all. But it still reminds me a little bit like the the ambience, which I liked in Visage, is is um, similar to this a little. Oh! What's this? A game within a game. Ooh, ooh! Night to H three. Oh my God! I want to play. Nighty night. <laughs> night. <laughs> I want to play. Okay, how do I play this? Oh, good lord. That was the wrong square. Uh huh. <laughs> that's that wasn't it? too difficult. That, that's it, really? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Fastidio, what's your problem? Honestly. Okay, give me that. Okay.
All right. Wingardium Leviosa. And then other side I need to do to bring another lamp. I haven't done it. Let's have some fun here. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Reminds me of a uh, little nightmares, a little. Oh, I'm afraid of the dark. Um, Does it worry you that I can see you, but you can't see me? It should. Closer. You're fine. Ah, <gasps> oh, Jesus! <gasps> God! Okay. I really like that animation of uh, the hand. It's very cool. Hmm, I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. Plus, don't want you getting too comfortable. Okay. Lumos. I can go there, um, but also here. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Lumos. Which should I do first? Okay, makes sense. And now we do the same thing here. I guess, I don't know. Oh boy, okay. Um, I need the other one. Ooh! I'm sorry. Like that. Okay. Can we go to another? No? Okay. Ah, a worthy playmate. Well done, me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. Why am I green? <laughs> Lumos. 
I love this level design. This is amazing. Fuck y'all. Lumos. Oh, it changed again. These statues. All right, we did it. We got the second lamp. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. I love it though. I don't think Revelio really... Oh. <laughs> Give me that. Revelio doesn't do much. Well, yeah, okay. We can still see. I hope there's a boss fight. Like you? Time to raise the stakes, so to speak. Where, uh, where shall I put this? Where, uh, where shall I put this? Uh huh. He just do. slapped me. Win a bit. What the fuck? Lumos. That's it. <sighs> okay. We did one side. The uh, unhappy side. Uh, all right, so now I need to do this side. Revelio. Uh, no, we did the the happy, actually. Happy, 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 happy thoughts. Lumos. Happy thoughts, we ah, good. You've chosen the scholarly route. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. Okay. <laughs> That's so fucked up. Ah, I love it. I love it's it. It's always good to have a different perspective on things. For sure. Can I... The fuck? Okay, um... Can I just jump down? No? I can't. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. All right. Uh. Whew. Oh, come on. Really? Lumos. Wait, really? Yes. 
Huh? Oh, okay. So, so I should wait. I can't go back. I can't go back. I'm stuck here. Uh, all right. I didn't mean to do that. Wait, what? I need to go there. Okay. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay. Um. So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. Uh huh. I can see that. No, no, I meant to do this. Okay, wait. Ah! Ah! Once you go somewhere, you can't go back, eh? Alright. Alright, then. Uh, I'm sorry. And where... Oh, here. I, I couldn't find it. Oh! Wow, Z, okay. Oh, goodness. Eh, that was freaky. I'm All just and no clay make one quite dull. Wingardium Leviosa. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to bring it. Wingardium Leviosa. Maybe here? No. Okay. Well, at least we have one. Um. Oh. 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 Okay. Sorry. We got it. Not. Not you. Come on. I thought I glitched it. <laughs> but no, we're fine. Okay, we need to, to bring it here. Alright. So we have one. And then... That was the one we just did. So... Uh... Here? I don't think there is any other choice. Okay. Of course. Lumos. <laughs> okay. Oh, deja vu. Bitch, what? Okay. Ah! 
Lumos. Lumos. Oh my god, that face. Lumos. Wait, am mm. I... Running in yeah, circles, am I just running in circles? Perhaps you should retrace your steps. Alright. It was a fucking spider, is what it was. Dude. Goodness. Where? Bevelio. Lumos. Here. Oh, how oh, nice of him to pop in. Of course. Fuck you. Okay, I had to kill them all. <gasps> oh, sweet toe. Uh, Leviosa. We got it. Oh my god. This level design is amazing. The ambience is super cool. <laughs> it's scary. Rebellion. Oh, thank you. I don't need it much, but thank you. Uh huh. Jesus fucking Christ. Now, when when he goes towards you, every time I had it, like it, oh my god! <laughs> I 
I don't know. It's just it's just the uh, in your face that every time I, I was like jump scared a little. Okay. All right, now the big door. <laughs> no questions. Of course, nobody took that place. Can we banish this uh, poltergeist? Like, gee. Okay, where are we? Oh, at least we're outside. Can I have the husband's stuff? <gasps> boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. Aha! Finally! You, my inordinately clever friend, appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. <laughs> I'm starting to take it personally. <clears throat> I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now, and you agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, I'll leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. You get your shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent. Just make friends with thieves, <laughs> honestly. Let the games begin. I need to see that contract. That's just cat, cat. But cat, I mean. Uh, what the fuck is this? Can I use anything else? Or... Um. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see it. They hurt a lot, eh? <laughs> Give me more, um... Yeah, thank you. That's what I want. Shit. 
that's amazing. I love this. I really do. Oh. <laughs> well, well. That's it. Finally, someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. It would impair you. It's too Such easy. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I enjoy a good challenge. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about that contract. I am a poltergeist of my word. There we go. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. But one doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Very well. That's not a really good agree agreement. To a contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing this. But there will be nobody to play with. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I have a few. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate. Revelio. Oh well. All right. Very interesting. All of this. Uh, I'm sorry. Confringo. Confringo. Uh, okay, I didn't have to do anything with that. No, right. <laughs> Was that your husband and became poltergeist? Is that possible even? Good lord. Gimme. Penny! Hello, Penny. Oh, Penny is so glad you're back. You knew exactly where I was going when I entered that chest. Penny was beginning to think yet another shopkeeper was going to end up in St. Mungo's. <laughs> another shopkeeper? St. Mungo's? I think you should explain, Penny. <gasps> Penny, please stop holding your breath. Tell me what's she going can't. on. She can't. Oh, please forgive Penny. Yeah. Penny is forbidden from telling you anything. But how can you be forbidden from telling me what's going on? I purchased You're not the shop. Her Penny mistress. is confused. Penny thought that if you came back, you would own the shop. Uh huh. Thank you, Penny. I think I'm going to need to talk to the authorities. Yep. Oh, Penny is certain that's a brilliant idea. Officer Singer will know what to do. Penny will wait right here. I'm supposed to be her mistress now, but I'm not. Mm-hmm. Okay. We need some words with uh, Cassandra. <laughs> Officer Sing. Officer Singer, I have Singer. some information you might be interested in. Ah. Good to see you again. What can I do for you? Cassandra Mason sold me her shop and then tried to drive me mad in a haunted dungeon. <laughs> Why am I, I so angry? I Cassandra mean, Cassandra Mason sold you her shop. I get it, but like. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, she said she did, but I think you missed the bit about the dungeon. No, no, I, I heard that bit too. And according to the house elf that came with the shop, she's done this sort of thing before, repeatedly. Hmm. I wondered what was going on. It's a scam. She seems to have had a great deal of trouble keeping a tenant in that shop. In any event, 
These are serious accusations indeed. Perhaps a little visit with Cassandra is in order to clear this all up. Shall we? Oh yeah. Let's fucking go, ma'am. <laughs> I feel like there's an audio delay. I will just uh, make it okay again. Okay. Knock, knock. <laughs> Ooh, it's nighttime. Oh, hello, Ruth. I see you've met my new tenant, Cassandra. It's my understanding She's that scary. you your shop and your elf to this student. Now they've been telling me some very interesting stories about your business practices. Perhaps you should come with me. <laughs> of course. Uh, of course. Did you see her smile? Uh, Stop her. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Okay, what? What is that? What is that? Uh... Oh, okay, it's just... Okay, I'm sorry. My god. What on earth are they teaching you at that school these days? Not working at all. I, should have known I was doing R1 do and it was doing a, a basic student. cast for some reason. I did. We got her, I think. Jesus! She was tough! Ah, uh, I'm disappointed in you, Cassandra. It was a good, uh, good boss. Incarcerate. You don't know what you're doing! <sighs> don't I? I always wondered why you couldn't seem to keep a tenant in that shop of yours. I must admit, the notion of a haunted dungeon never crossed my mind. Thanks Amazing. This. You can head back to the shop. Second, that house elf of yours, she's probably terrified. 
Spoony little traitor myself! I should have known it was Silencio. Damn, she's scary. Oh, ask and not it to is. Worry. Cassandra will immediately file the paperwork needed to grant you ownership of both the shop and the elf. On her way to Azkaban. Thank you. Thank you, Officer Singer. Best of luck to you as the newest shop owner in Hogsmeade. Shit, that's cool. Ah! Oh, what happened? Dude, uh, that was an amazing quest. Completely different from the rest of the game. The vibe and everything. But dude, that was amazing. It was so much fun. I could have missed that quest completely, I feel like, if I hadn't talked to the house elf. Penny, I have what I hope will be good news. Officer Singer confirmed that ownership of the shop has now transferred to me. Oh, well, that is good news. Penny is so relieved. Penny had the most difficult time keeping the truth from you. Penny promises to work as hard there as she can go. for such a kind new owner. No. Uh. Penny, I found an item of clothing in the dungeon that I'd like to give you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh Penny my god. That's so nice. I, I was unsure if, if she would like it or and not. Come a free elf. It's my pleasure. You deserve yeah. it. Of course, Penny will be staying on and managing the shop Aww, for you. Oh, she's too sweet. Penny, you're free. You can do anything you've ever wanted to. What if that's to, what she wants to do? All Penny has ever wanted to do is run a shop with a friend and ah! sell to the villagers in Hogsmeade. If that's what you want to do, Penny, then nothing would make me happier. Yeah. I'm genuinely glad you'll be staying on. Penny is too. All that's left is for you to choose a sign for your new shop and Penny will take care of the rest. Vesters and Venom, Cladwell and Brewster, Stitches and Draughts. Stitches and Draughts. I choose Stitches and Draughts. Excellent choice. Have a look outside. Thank you. It's like for health. I shall work on collecting items for the shop's inventory. Oh, and Penny. Like medicine. We'll be closing the shop by nine o'clock every night. Yeah. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak <sighs> away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the snitches. Uh -huh. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Pretty cool. Is that what I had before? No, I had the black one. Yeah. Uh, that's Zonko's. This one. <laughs> nice. Damn. I can talk to her. <gasps> she has her hat. Oh, of course, the piece of clothing. You something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Of course, I didn't think of it. Oh, Penny will fetch a good price for what you'd like to sell. Penny wishes you safe and wondrous travels. Stitches and draughts. 
I have my own shop! Wien is so cool! Okay, this quest was amazing. I'm sorry, but what? Alright, we have two new things we could do. Simeon is saying that she can sneak away without her mother knowing I'm to meet her outside Uggsmead. Okay, that would make sense for where we are right now. We can do that. I think we have time. Yeah, we have some time. That was an amazing quest. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. it it's so different than what we do usually. But I think that's what is cool. Oh, come on. Can't fly here. Let's wait for her. I hope you guys enjoyed too. That, that was super fun. To an to I really liked the whole level design and I'm effects. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I and jump scares. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. Hmm. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning I'm Not sure we residents. should do all that behind her back, though. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. All right. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Okay. Wow. You're studious. Stu st studious? How do you say? Anyway, you, you, you get it. The three broomstick. Hi, Sirona. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, oh. and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Oh. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world. She looks the bank. like Lavender Brown in the movies. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes find. me an enticing target for blackmail. I was trying to find why is her face reminding me of someone, and she reminds me of Le Lavender Brown, the actress that plays Lavender Brown in in the Harry Potter movies, but like with black hair. But she has this like a similar face. Have you anyway. helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. 
Ron, Ron. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? I'm sorry. What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may <gasps> Not the daisies. Sweet, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Mrs. Rabe, we do hope we will, you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. But shall we expect a response, a response by weeks, week, weeks end? Best to keep this between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Let's drink. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. And uh, husband is a curse breaker. That's fucking cool. I can lore dump a bit about that if you guys want. Um, <laughs> I think it's genuinely a really interesting career in the Harry Potter world. But basically a, a curse breaker. They usually, usually work with... Um, is that a myth? A, a me? A me? No, it's not. Um, what did you do Rebellion. with this garbage can? <laughs> But yeah, um, basically they usually work with banks, especially Green Guts, but any bank really. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. And I should check there. They go to. There we go. They go to like uh, remote locations, everywhere around the world. They travel a lot, and they try to. Basically, they are um, tomb raiders, kinda. <laughs> Um, but they, yeah, they go around the world and then they try to recover um, gold or goblin-made items or stuff like that. Um, like really, really uh, pricey things. But usually those things are protected by curses. So their job is to find and break those curses without dying in the process and then take the whatever the thing and then bring it back to the bank and they, they, they get paid a lot for that. So basically that's, I think, if I remember correctly, that's their job. And if I'm not mistaken, um, Bill Weasley is um, a curse breaker for Green Gods. So um, in the books. Uh, well, in the movies too, I guess. Charlie is uh, works with dragons, but Bill is a curse breaker, and you have to be. I think it's pretty much a similar um, curriculum in in Hogwarts as like Auror. Uh You need like really to be really good at like um, spells, transfigurations, some potions. Um, but yeah, especially charms and defense against the dark arts and um, transfiguration. I think you need to to be really, really good at that. And it's a very dangerous job. Like you can die literally. It's curses that are very hard to get rid of. So because it's dark magic. So yeah, it's 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 really interesting. Yeah, but, but, but the jobs you can do in the it, HP world. It's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest good, you eh? in a stunning cravat today? Please, <laughs> sir, I would like to help. <laughs> I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> a cravat. You know the Bickles? It's a tie, mm. right? All right. I didn't know Look, you could say that in English. Be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill. Mr. Cravat in French. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well... 
secretly engaged these past six months. Uh -huh. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Aww. Hilo advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. Okay, maybe it's not a time. I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping. But I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note that might help me to identify it should I come across it? It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. Aww. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly and Rosie as well. Damn, what can we do for him, Thank though? Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. For As sure. for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where will they? We're on the right track. Now to Baby, the I was going this way. Can I go through here? No. Come on. To here. Whoop, 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 whoop. I can unlock this. A little more. I'm sorry. Let me just stop here for a second and loot. Do no no. No. Rebellion. Mm. Mine now, demi guys. Ah, oh, yeah, I knew it. Let's uh, spend some time. Uh. Wait, I can't right now. Cause I'm in the middle of a quest. Fuck. Okay, fine. Where are we right now? In this house beside the potions. I'll come back for you, baby. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> Later. <laughs> oh, God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello, Hi, sir. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. You may have shared Mr. Bickle's fate if you had spoken out against Harlow, as he requested. Unfortunately, I suspect you're right. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, Dulcibella. passed away, Dulcibella. she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. 
he found the Book of Poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Damn, what Harlow an does awful not like person. people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find that <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you just ate a candy? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to call it in, uh, in English. Um, we call it Bertie Crochu in French. I never know in English what it is. Let me just loot here as well. Maybe there's another demigod. <laughs> Mine now, demigods, but it's the middle of the day, so no. Actually, not mine now. Revelia. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right. Oh my goodness. Hello There's uh, many of them. Okay. Oh. There we go. Now we have to. We didn't have it uh, the first time. For some reason. Can I go here? No. Here is fine. Oh my god, so many places. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's continue. Let's continue. Huh. It's not like Natty to be late. Mm. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. <gasps> I can use... I can use... Oh. Highwing! I can, but Down! only on on foot. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. All right. Natty must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Natty's wand. Oh no. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. Yeah. She's in trouble. And there's Velio like will show flowers. Where she was taken. Wait, that's really fucking strange. Like someone giving up their nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh. Let me just um Alohomora. <laughs> ah! Natty is in trouble and I'm just looting. But I mean It's important too. Revelio. Give me. Give me. Give me. I'm sorry, Natty. I'm coming. I'm coming. These houses don't have bathrooms, by the way. I noticed that last time. Oh, 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 oh. I hadn't seen the footsteps. Natty must have been taken this way. Ashwinder, hide I need to out. Find her quickly. In Hug's head. Footprints the heck? This room. There must be another way forward. Really? Akio. I'm so sorry. Thank you for your blessings. <laughs> A hidden door. This is Hufflepuff common room. <laughs> she must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Uh huh. I'd better be sure I'm not seeing. 
seen. Valeo. Is it R for Wookwood? Okay, that's like a muffling charm. Muffliado, maybe? Is that why it's like... Well, it's not really muffled, so I guess that's not it. Wow. It looks amazing, though. This whole uh, place. Okay. Rob Burrow's always a treasure trove. Never failed to fill the sacks. That's me, of course. Oh, gee. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Vokud will lead us to victory. You might. I remember my father speaking of this kind of thing. Seems now they're upon them to take help of Weird. If I likes it, I takes it. <laughs> Rookwood will reward us for our loyalty. Don't Valia. you? Gwen the... Where? Don't give me that look. Wouldn't mind yourself, you do, before I take it into my... I used to be stationed near Irondale. <laughs> with Selwyn. Gwendolyn Zhao. Was it upper or lower Hogsfield that we raided last week? You are as dear to me as o an augury whose voice foretells the coming rain. You are as loved by me as a crop could be you whose loyalty is... Right. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus I'm Silbert. sorry. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Let's finish this job and be done with it. Waste of time, this is. <laughs> Show yourself! As if it's all the fault of us witches! You talk as if we do nothing but oi, spend oi. our days brewing love potion and trying to lure the eye of a young wizard upon our dresses! I wouldn't go back to Pit upon Ford if they was given our galleons. Hello? Patrol. About the most exciting <laughs> thing around here is a new man. Ah! I just got rid of the boss like it was nothing. <gasps> Can I save you, my sweet? I know. What? Expulsion. Expulsion. Place it. What are you doing? Electricity. Just hold still. Expulsion. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to use my... Oh my goodness. I was not supposed to die there. That's so bad. Oh, wait, it's already open. <laughs> he must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Um, I did really badly. All right. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Of course. Those things are optional, really. It's not gonna work. Using that girl as bait, no one's coming for her. We ought to just kill her. Uh, only a Hogwarts student would be arrogant enough to come uh. here alone. Show oh, yourself. I didn't mean to do that. They don't seem to care for you in the Hogwarts. May I blame them what we all have done with them? Fires, best left alone in a breeze. Don't need no hands stoking it. They should want 
eyes run oi, oi. Always makes me nervous. If people don't want me to steal their valuables, they better get a really good look. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. <laughs> I didn't know there was an enemy there. Huge decoration table, nice. You'll be nothing but trouble, Balthazar. Uh. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> What's happening to me? I broke every traveling vendor that passed through. There's a legendary chest. Can I? Okay, I'm, I'm still, I'm still okay. Alrighty. Okay. I'm gonna make too much of a sound if I do anything Avelia. here. Oi, oi, oi. Students these days, so full of themselves. Suppose that's what we're killing. I'm sorry. Where? Oh shit, I forgot about him. <laughs> what? <laughs> like this? Uh huh. Okay, that was better, at least. Damn, that's a beautiful letter. Look at that color and the beautiful embossed thing. Our age. My darling Otto, I have read your last letter over and over and I'm certain to read it again each hour until we are able to meet. I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. There's for sure perfume on that letter. For sure, 100%. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at our wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love. But, uh, no. And I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that such a situation is within our grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an existential challenge indeed. And now I am off to read your letter once more. Yours affectionately, Rosie. Oh, that's so cute. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. But it's cute though. It's real cute. Get this. We can go up there, we can go through here. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Revelio. Huh? That's it? Okay. Let's go to the other one. So my dueling feat is Disarm and Ashwinder Executioner as they prepare the lightning spell. So there's another ex Executioner somewhere, if I haven't failed it yet, is what I'm thinking. This is a really cool level design as well, by the way. I like it. Oi, oi. We should speak to her again. Perhaps you'll tell us where we can find that friend of hers. Damn those stairs. Say nothing. 
boss will deal with her when he arrives. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. No, you didn't. Yeah, I'm tired of wasting my time on a foolish decisions about this. Avelia. We've lost precious opportunities now. Opportunities that could have brought spoils to our hands. But now, life fall into the wayside. Okay. We can do this one. And there we go. And now I'll do this dude. With this. Let's try it. Expulso! Fuck me. Expulso! Flash! Oh yeah, bitch. I'm sorry, that's not what I meant to do. Oh my god! There we go. I did it. And an Ashwinder We did it! All right, did I get everything? I think I did. That he must be here somewhere. <gasps> you found there she us. is. I knew you would realize I had left my home for you. Speak to Mr. Rabe. He will tell you what you need to do. Need your help. Ah! more. Sorry, I'm just looting before. <laughs> Just a moment, please, if you will. It's not the. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I think it 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 does do 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 do. when it's like um. When it's uh, level two, maybe. And then just when it's level one, I'm guessing. Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all yeah. right? <laughs> I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed. And there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic. That's what I was thinking. Um... I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. <laughs> well done. I knew it was nearby. <laughs> now, you best stand back. Um, One never knows how a curse When I thought it was mostly Yaddo, I don't know if I said, but I thought um, maybe it's just anti apparition. apparition. Veil. Revelia. I don't know. Because we could hear the voices a lot, so I'm, I'm guessing it was not Mofiado after all. <laughs> nice. Nothing here. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Hmm. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. I already took care of everybody, or is there new people coming in? Okay. I was supposed to do the whole thing without anybody seeing me, I guess. But I <laughs> didn't. I didn't. I was just like, let's fucking go. Let's kill everybody. <laughs> uh, here. Yeah, this is strange. I thought maybe that was it. Like, maybe it's an anti apparition or something, but. I'm unsure. Come on, Natty. Oh, sorry. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Poor Officer Singer. I'm like, here, I got this problem, and now I got this problem. <laughs> 
She must be like, okay, who are you? Nazi Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Mm -hmm. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. <clears throat> As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. With all due respect, officer, the authorities haven't done much about any of this. There's more to taking down an organization like the Ashwinders than simply storming in and hauling them off based on a few accusations. Well... I must insist that you leave them to us. We shall have no further discussion on this. Girl. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. <laughs> Basis for blackmail. There we go. <gasps> Am I level 33? No. Almost. Okay, let's go back to the rumor requirement because I have a lot of uh, unidentified things. That was that was really fun quests, both of them. Here. The Ashwinders have ceased pestering me. I suspect that's your doing. Thank you from me and Rosie both. We're just leaving for our honeymoon, after we tell Mr. Hill of our recent marriage. Wish me luck. La 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 That's not better. It looks cool though. But... Slot level 3. Um, not better. Not better. <laughs> are we just dressed in legendary stuff? Yeah, we are. Okay, cool. I think I should see my beasts. It has been a while. Especially my Neasel. Because... I need... Shit. <laughs> I need... Uh, the fur of my Neasel. Okay, so now, do I have new things that I could upgrade? This one has ancient magic meter fill rate. Do I have it in uh, two, maybe? Yeah, I do. Well, let's put that then. I have it in three. I'm sorry. Okay. Damn. All right. We have that. Here we have ancient magic throw. In three, I could get. Herbology could be cool, I think. 
instead of magic throw. And then with Bombardo, I have three. Defendo, three. Unforgivable, three. Confringo, two. I don't have a better Confringo. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we are doing better and better. Take things. You Thank be you. Proud of all the potions you brewed. I have done many of them, so thank you. I appreciate. He's so annoying. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> I don't have a cop composter though. Disgusting a little, but no judging. <laughs> it's not super pretty, okay? I know. It's all good. <laughs> it's temporary, okay? I don't mind. And then I had this here yeah <gasps> let's go see my other babies hello <gasps> cuties <laughs> there we go. They're so hungry. You're so cute. I want to pet them. Collecting everything is kind of a drag. I don't know if you can collect like this. But I don't think so. Oh, you're so happy! Oh my god. You lonely? It's a little offspring! <laughs> but the cutest is a moon calf, I think. I mean... How to resist such a sweetie. Da -da -da -da. Wait. Do I have new... New things? I don't! I do! Okay, wait a minute. This is useless anyway. There we go. Okay. Let me see what we can do now. Large tent, house. Oh, goodness. 
Oh. Ah! Is that too small or... Wait, that's cute though. It, it is kind of too small, I think. I can make it bigger. Oh, Jesus. That's for Hagrid. <laughs> Let's be honest. Okay, so I thought maybe... I can recreate... Oh, that's nice. Okay, that's literally a house. Okay. Wait, what is the difference? Oh, I can just go like this. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. I see the difference. I can recreate the cottage um, f of Bill and, f and Fleur. Floor? Fleur. Of Bill and Fleur. You can't enter, of course. It's just to be pretty. Right? Yeah. Huh. Okay. Maybe I'll do that in a live stream or something like it. Oh, beautiful. Um, you know, make it make it cute. But uh, that's pretty cool, though. Now you can observe. Ah, <gasps> you can go sit down and be humble. <laughs> humble by nature. Okay, there's this or this. Looking nice. Oh, the the um, okay. I put it too close to it. Ooh, that's kind of cute, eh? It's not bad, right? Maybe put this one here. Hey, we could do something cute. <laughs> and there are so many others too. This one I can definitely put here, I think. It's smaller, maybe? Wait. Smaller? <laughs> like that? Maybe not a good idea in the water like that. Good. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, your poor tent is uh there's so much water in it. Oops. <laughs> and then I guess we could put some pillars or stuff. Like make it real cute, you know? Something like that. It's 
not like an arch way, but it's just... It's just a little something something, but it, it's not as um... It makes it more like a castle than a cute cottage. I think it's more like a, in the details of um, this type of thing. Like a magic chime. You know, then you can do something cute, but like... It depends what, what type of... Um, vibe you want to go for like that that is more the that's more the vibe you know for a cottage like this you know and with the little sound that's so cute i mean i'm not a pro at all but i'm, I'm just i'm just thinking out loud i'm just glad that now i have a some trees going on and I don't know more more choices because Jesus for the longest time I didn't have much of a choice uh, for anything and I was sad okay don't know if it really fits well because we're not in the forest here. So it's kind of weird to put. Yeah, you need to respect the environment, you know? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But that looks kind of cute, right? I want to live there. I put a bit too many things at the same place, so we don't really see it well. Oh, such a nice place with the music. Let's go see the swamp. I'll try to not spend as much time there. <laughs> I really need to stop playing. There we go. Hello, sweeties. Beautiful. Here, a, ten, a, a tent would fit, I think. Maybe. Or a cottage as well. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, I love the music in this one. I don't know, there's something about it. Or like, like a true witch house, you know? <gasps> Wait, with the lights and everything, it looks too good. That looks cool. <laughs> He's so cute. What about the cottage? I want to see what it looks like. Oh, it looks good too. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Yeah, I can make them bigger and smaller. I always forget about that. Oh, that, that really fits, though. That's a true swamp uh, thing, if I've ever seen one. A fern. I guess. I don't know. I think. <laughs> I'm just trying things out right now, but... You know, you can make it a bit sinister, you know, that's kind of the vibe around here, so... You can go ahead and make it a bit, um... Mm -mm, witch house, like a true witch... Witch's house, you know? A bench here... Boop! And then maybe, uh, I think we have some... Oh, oh, some pumpkins. 
You know, like that. You know, it kind of hides the uh, the things that you want hidden. <laughs> like the spaces and other things like that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Like that. And then... Don't we have some lights? We definitely have some dead trees going on. Oh yeah, that's really good. I don't think I can... Oh yeah. I think that's a bit much in this space though, but around here maybe? Yeah, we do we have any lights? That's kind of sad. Like the only lights that I got are like from these like stairs. Maybe I'll get some yeah, wooden lamp. Okay, I'll get some later cuz we definitely need that. We definitely need some uh Some lights around here because it's dark AF. Oh, I'm sorry. I wanna see you better. Yeah, like that. Something like that. I don't know. I'm just trying things out, like I said. But. Yeah, the uh, lantern is definitely missing. Like we need to see here the little the little corner, you know. And we need to to make this like all around, or at least more in the front here. And then I would add a lantern like around here as well. I think it would look good. But uh, yeah, this looks quite good actually. I don't hate it at all. <gasps> You're so cute! I don't know, I think I'll explore with it. During live streams or just on, on my own sometimes. I want I want to make everything way more beautiful than, than how it is right now. It's not to my uh so exactly to my taste like I mean yes it is to my taste but I, I can definitely make it better than that buddy I'll stop here because like I've been playing for way too long I'm gonna cut a lot of that out in the editing I think I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode I really really like the hugs me quests both of them but um one with the poltergeist, it was super fun. I really liked it. And I hope you guys liked it too. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!